Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangvi from vlamont.com and I'm back with another Google Cloud Compute Engine tutorial video. And in this video, we will learn how to enable browser caching for Nginx web server on Ubuntu 18.04. For this video, we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. Now let me answer why we need browser caching. For this, we have a sample page which we are going to use for this video. In this sample page, so right now the load time for this sample page is around 7.5 seconds. Right now the cache is disabled. When the browser cache is disabled, if I'm going to refresh the same page, then our browser is going to request all this file again from the server. So in case of browser cache is disabled, if anyone is going to visit our website, then for our web page, all the files are going to download again. Now let's assume this test1.js is the common JavaScript file which is used inside all the web pages available on my website. In case of browser cache is disabled, then on each page request, this test1.javascript file is going to download again and again. In case of browser cache, so let me, let me uncheck this disable cache and if I'm going to refresh this page one more time, so this time our page is loaded in 6.24 seconds. For this page refresh, some of the files used from the disk. Now in this, we can still improve the performance of the page load. How? Right now, if I'm going to open any of this file, for any of this file, expiry date is not set. What happens when expiry date is not set? In such scenario, browser decide whether we need to download the file or not using the e-tag. E-tag is a unique identifier for each file. So this is test1.js file. For this, we have no expiry header, but we have e-tag. Based on the e-tag, based on this e-tag, on next page refresh, browser is going to send this e-tag on server. Server is then going to respond whether this e-tag is matching or not. If e-tag is matching, then server is going to respond 304 not modified. If browser is going to receive this status, it means browser is going to use the local version of available file. If this e-tag is not going to match, then of course browser is going to re-download this file. Now how to avoid this e-tag call? For this, we need to use or we need to set the expiry header. So we are going to achieve all this inside this video. So let me open my blog post first. So this is my blog post and you can send you can check the same information using this command also so let me show how to use this for this i'm going to first edit this command inside notepad because i need to change the ip address okay so i'm going to copy this ip address and if i'm going to paste it just here and if I'm going to copy this, if I'm going to open my terminal and let me paste it just here. So this is server nginx, content type is a text HTML. This is the content length and this is the e tag. Again, no expiry header. Now what we need to do next, we need to edit the configuration file. So for this, I'm going to execute this configuration. So this on this server block, we have only one website default website. So we are going to copy this command and we are going to edit the configuration for the default website. Inside the configuration, you need to copy this code. Let me add this code inside my configuration file. We are done with the configuration file. Now before saving this file, let's understand the content. The first line is default. It means by default, we are disabling the cache for all the file types. So next is for text HTML. We set its value to epoch. It is a special value which results explicitly no cache. It forces the browser to always ask if the website itself is up to date or not. The next two line is for CSS and JavaScript. For CSS and JavaScript, we set its value to max. It means the Nginx web server is going to set maximum expiry date for these two files. The last line is the regular expression for images. For all the images type, we are setting the expiry date 
is maximum. So this is the expiry map setting and we are adding this just here expiry is expiry. Now to save this configuration file, I'm going to press Ctrl O, hit enter and Ctrl X to close the nano editor. Before restarting the Nginx services, we need to first test the configuration file. So I'm going to use this command. Everything is okay. It means we are able to restart our services. Finally, I'm going to copy this command to restart my Nginx web services. Now this time I'm going to refresh my... Now let me disable this cache because I want to check the headers. I want the latest header. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this web page and I'm going to select test1.css. Now we have a expiry date for this CSS file. The same way we have expiry date for image and expiry date for our JavaScript file. And this is the expiry date for HTML file, pass date. It means our browser is always going to request the index.html file. So the status code 200, okay for this. Now, if I'm going to disable this cache and let me close this header files. And if I'm going to refresh this 11.jpg from memory cache, zero millisecond. Test1.js from memory cache, zero millisecond. Okay. So this is the benefit for enabling the browser caching and to add expiry headers. Now, I hope you are able to understand the importance of browser caching and how to enable browser caching for Nginx web server on your Ubuntu 18.04. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next video. Some important URLs.